Hey y'all, it's uh, March 18th, Sunday morning, 8.30. Uh, heading over to that uh, Miami uh, grocery and uh, restaurant. Um, I'm, I've got the coal with me today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a head start on this thing. They're calling for high 80s tomorrow. Uh, these people have been without air since, well, you've seen that video I made a while back about the copper theft. Um, gonna head over here and get the coal set. Go ahead and run the line sets and try to get them up through that pitch pocket best I can and uh, try to shoot a little footage while I'm over here. Um, it's a really super tight mechanical room, so uh, you know, I'll try to get what I can. But uh, anyway, just uh, doing a little intro here. Reckon we'll, uh, we'll see you when we get over. All right, y'all. Check it out, y'all. Working right off Rochester. <laughs> I want that sign. Something. All right, y'all. Right, it's uh, 905 Sunday morning. Just made it here. Uh, got all my ladders off. Got everything set up. I'm ready to rock. Uh, just waiting on them to get here. I think they said it was going to be here at 9, but I reckon it's Sunday. I'll give them until 930 or so. But uh, here's the name of the place we're working at. Miami Food Market, Restaurant, and Grocery. All right, y'all. Reckon I'll hurry up and wait. All right, y'all. We got that big hog out of here. We're getting ready to... Uh, we uh, got us a little uh, fitting to go in between this furnace and the coil. A lot of times this coil will get... Uh, the, the heat exchanger will get so hot it'll melt the pan and the uh, the plastic pan and the coil so just a little tip I got from Dallas a while back okay y'all we got our four ton coil American Standard coil here uh, upflow uh, a coil set in place and I'm gonna have to you know do my mastic thing and all that good stuff but the four pieces done looks pretty good and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get right, the doors off got here. the old unit tossed off the side of the building here um, I'm gonna let the crane take that down so I don't spew mess everywhere uh, got the line set and run Got our three phase box ready to rock. Uh, I'll get my 66s up here and uh, we'll take care of all that uh, Monday when the crane gets here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and uh, tie the uh, coal in down there. So, uh, all right, y'all, we've uh, disconnected the TXV. I put some wet rags here on the bulb. I'm getting ready to unsweat the, uh, the cap here on the uh, 7 8 line. Okay, y'all, we've got the uh, American Standard uh, coal, four ton coal installed here. Um, got our brazed in. Uh, got our little uh, fitting in between the uh, furnace and the coil. Um, actually, it's actually going to be really good for like uh, using a manometer to test airflow. Um, plus, uh, I've always heard that on the older style furnaces, you need to get it off there because of the new plastic pans and these coils, you don't want to possibly melt them. Uh, got everything pookied up, did the little tape trick where I could paint everything on. Drains done, vents done. Uh, got the safety uh, overflow on my uh, secondary drain here. So we'll wire all this up, the control wire in this when uh, Monday when, uh, when the unit arrives. Unit's supposed to be here at 8.30, crane's supposed to be here at 10. So stay tuned, y'all. Hope, hope y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. We'll hard soon. Bye.